You may know actor Justin Thoreau for being Jennifer Aniston's ex-husband, but where does he live? Justin proudly calls New York City home. In fact, his love for this city was a significant factor in his split from Aniston. She's a California native at heart, but he's deeply rooted in the Manhattan lifestyle and neither of them was willing to compromise. Justin Thoreau, actor and screenwriter, is best known for his roles in The Leftovers and Mulholland Drive. He was also in the spotlight for being married to actress Jennifer Aniston, who he met in 2007 on the set of Tropic Thunder, which Thoreau co-wrote. But sparks really flew when they reunited in 2010 while filming Wanderlust. After a whirlwind romance, they married in a private ceremony at their Bel Air home in August 2015. Sadly, the wedded bliss was short-lived, and the couple announced their separation in February 2018. One of the key factors in their divorce was apparently their differing lifestyles. Jen, a California native, prefers the laid-back West Coast lifestyle, while Justin, who has long been drawn to the fast-paced energy of New York City, couldn't imagine leaving his East Coast roots behind. In Manhattan, Justin keeps his longtime residence largely out of the public eye. However, we do know a few things about his home here. When it comes to his home decor, Justin chose a more unconventional approach to designing his pre-war Greenwich Village apartments. Instead of the typical luxury pieces that celebs go for, Justin prefers furnishings he's restored from the trash. He's openly shared his passion for giving discarded items new life, even revealing that a couch still in his mother's home was something he salvaged from the bin. His apartment is reportedly full of these rescued pieces, each with its own story and character. While his unique taste in decor is well known, details about the actual interior of his apartment are slim. However, it's known that Justin invested $1 million into restoring and expanding the space by purchasing the adjoining unit. This renovation project sparked a highly publicized legal battle with a neighbor who claimed the work caused damage to his own home. In response, Justin sued him back, leading to an ongoing and very messy dispute. Now, the latest news about Justin's years-long battle with this neighbor came just a couple of months ago when the neighbor, Norman Reniscow, passed away. Justin was involved in legal battles with Norman since 2017, when the actor sued his neighbor for allegedly trespassing on their shared rooftop terrace, killing his ivy, spying on him, and engaging in harassment. Norman, a 76-year-old retired real estate attorney at the time, passed away on May 4th, 2024, and his wife Barbara is appointed as the executor of his estate, so she's supposed to take over the litigation. Prior to his passing, Norman was supposed to move out of the Washington Place building where he neighbored with Justin, but his unit's still on the market. Justin's lawsuit claimed Norman began a campaign of harassment against him and his then-wife Jennifer Aniston in 2015 when they started the renovation of the second-floor apartments. However, it wasn't only Justin who has had legal issues with Norman. There were actually lawsuits from other neighbors and even one filed by the building's co-op, which ordered the Resnickows to vacate the premises and pay their legal fees. When Justin and Jennifer Aniston were still an item, they crafted a stunning home in Bel Air, Los Angeles together, customizing the entire thing. It was said that following their divorce, they were selling the mansion. However, Jen remained living here and currently still does, while Justin returned his Greenwich Village apartments. Featured in Architectural Digest, this 1965 A. Quincy Jones designed house was renovated by Jen and Justin after they bought the mansion for $21 million in 2011. The home boasts 8,500 square feet of space, breathtaking views, four bedrooms, six bathrooms, and sits on nearly two acres of land. Originally featuring a vineyard, Justin and Jen transformed this outdoor space into a stunning garden. The couple also added a backyard pool so you could soak up the property's sweeping views of Los Angeles. In the March 2018 issue of Architectural Digest, Jen and Justin opened up their home to readers and Jen described the property saying, every corner you turn, you have an experience. Everywhere you look, you get a vista. We worked hard to get that flow right. 
The master bathroom includes a custom marble tub with a garden view, while the master bedroom was decorated in earth tones and cozy carpets. Jen described the living room's decor as old world meets new world, featuring dark wood accents, neutral fabrics, and a rare polar bear sofa. In more recent years, Jen has made some more changes to the home while being solo. After the two split, Jen made a transformation to the guest cottage in her backyard. The small structure located across from the main house is also where the actress keeps a chicken coop and a charming botanical garden complete with olive trees. Jen said about the new space, welcome to the babe cave. And she introduced the bright window filled space to the interviewer in a cover story with Allure magazine. She continued saying, this used to be Justin's office. He preferred things dark and moody. I lightened it up stripped it all down. Aniston, well, she's lived in the house for nearly 12 years now. After wrapping up this house tour, we can see that Justin Thoreau's homes reflect his unique style, especially his longtime Manhattan home with his repurposed furnishings that he's well known for. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all next time. Bye.